Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $7 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. Choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. Contribute directly to getting these people People off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment. What's up, guys? Before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pin comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So. Be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment. Like the video. What's up? Before we get into the messages with Emily, I need to go over this real quick. In all seriousness, I know that everybody's sick of the old commercial, so here's a new one. If you're interested in buying merch, which is very comfortable, in all seriousness, get the merch here. We have all new stuff, including sweatshirts, shorts, t-shirts, maybe even hats. Check it out. Pin comment. GordonFlowers.com. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers, to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifable information, in other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. Yeah, brain vet thing on there. How's it going? Hello? Is there a Robert that lives here? Uh... Got a package for him here. Package? Yeah, for Robert. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I just gotta make sure, I gotta just gonna, gotta make sure he gets it. Yeah, I just gotta make sure it gets in his hands. That's I, cool. see. I see, well he's... Sleep. I can ask him, but for sure.
He's asleep. He's asleep. He's asleep. Trying to wake him up. Trying to wake him up. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good. Uh, Robert? Yes. Okay. Got this package for you here. Uh, God, how do I get this thing open? <laughs> Sounds good. good. Yeah, I got to talk to you about Lisa, man, and uh, Sophia, all right? I got all these. It's probably best we just... It's, it's personal with him, all right? Oh, yes. All good. All right, let's go away so that he's in here, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. My God. I got two people with me for safety reasons so you can be sure we're not here to hurt you. None of that, all right? Okay, appreciate it, man. Sorry to meet you like this. Thank you want to get like shoes on or anything like that, or? Uh, I'm good for the moment. Okay. I'll leave this front door unlocked. Oh, yeah, and we're just going to make sure it's in so nobody hurts him or anything like that. Does he know? No. Okay. Oh, let me just put this down right here. Okay. So obviously, <laughs> you're out here in your shoe, you know, barefoot. You know what I'm here to talk to you about, right? Yeah. Okay. So before we get into anything, I mean, how, how old is Lisa? Uh, I don't know. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you yeah, obviously I, blocked I her that, because... I know what's up, and, and I know I knew it was kind of a setup. I could tell it was a setup, so that's okay. kind of why I stopped. Okay. So you know she told you her age then, right? That she was a little bit too young? Yeah. Okay, so Sophia was obviously six. How loud did Lisa tell you? Did she tell you she was one or two or like a little bit older or? Do I know? How old did Lisa tell you she was? Uh, I don't remember. I, I don't okay. remember. But, but it was young and I knew it was young. Okay, like how young you think? Uh, I don't know, she was a kid. Okay, so like probably under 12 if you're aware of that? Yeah. Okay. So what's up, I mean, are you gonna like turn all this in and arrest me or are you trying to expose me what are you what are you doing man? dude i'm not here to make you dude if i wanted to expose you i would have just told derek what's going on man right. okay so look and obviously i'm not a cop or anything like that okay but i think it's best that we talk about it here because you're someone that's trying to turn their life around like obviously with the big old stack i have in my hand you know i obviously i didn't have to come talk to you you know right. what i mean right. so i want to give you that chance obviously because i know you're not a bad dude or like that but you know I just know you're... I, I did some up things, and, and and I realized that. Mm -hmm. And I, I couldn't go through with it, and I felt I was scared, and I knew it was a setup at some point, you know? At some point? Like, when, you think? Uh, the first time she called, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because that sounded really sketch. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, it sounded like a voice changer. Okay. Uh, and uh, there was always like a pause in between when she would talk and when I would talk. Mm -hmm. And I, I was kind of, yeah, a little worried about all that. Okay. So did she call like after y'all went on Telegram? I think it was pretty late, like. Uh, yeah, she called a while after Telegram. Yeah. Okay, all right. I think. So that's when you thought it was a setup? Yeah, okay. I, I mean. I had my suspicions before that. But right, yeah. I mean, yeah. But so there was a lot of messages like that were still pretty escalated before you thought it was a setup then to yeah. then who you would have thought would be a nine year old. So, I mean, look, man, I got to ask because you're obviously, you know, you're, you're, you dipped your toes into this stuff, man. I mean, you know, I, I, I have a whole encyclopedia yeah, worth I've of stuff. definitely made a mistake, yeah. Sure, but when did this type of stuff all start for you, man? Because you didn't, you know, you didn't wake up one day and say, I'm going to do this with Lisa, you know? When did this all start Actually, from? Actually, I kind of did, you know? I mean, uh -huh. this is when it started. I, I, I mean, it's very recent. So. Very recent? Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I just 
you know, somebody sent me something one day, and I was like, what the hell is this? And then... Kind of intrigued you? It, well, it, yeah, at first, and then it came became like an addiction. Ah, uh, okay. And then... You know, finally last night I kind of broke and I was like, I can't do this anymore. And, okay. And I fucking deleted everything. So you're not like the kingpin of any of this stuff. You got oh, God, you you no. got you got sucked into it. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. So they, they they sent you something. What was it? I I I, I think I mean I think we both know what it is, but you know what what what, what did they send you that got you intrigued about this type of stuff? Uh, I don't know some images. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Images that would probably get people in trouble. Yes. Okay. So we're talking. Talking, you know, naked images of people too young, or probably yes, probably or come on, do they send you that and you got intrigued about it? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, what is this? Well, this Am is I for going to jail. Or? <laughs> I mean, dude, do we look like cops? No, I, no, but I mean, if anything, he'd be detained. They'd be de you're detained by us right now. Me, you can expose me. I mean, what are you doing? I mean, okay, so I came all the way here from Texas. All right, so if, if I really, okay, how, how, how long do you think I was sitting on these messages for to expose you? Probably ever since I started this. There you go. So, I mean, if I really wanted to do that, then, like, what's the point? Then we wanted to have to come all the way here to give you the benefit of the doubt. Because, look, if you were, like, if you, if you told me that you were, like, oh, yeah, I'm actually a producer of these types of images, and, oh, okay, yeah, maybe you should deserve to be exposed for that, right? But, like, if, if you got sucked into it, then I don't think you need any trouble, man. Probably some help. So... How many years ago did they send you that image that got you sucked into it? It was like, what, two months ago? Two months ago? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I had no idea I was, I was like, fascinated by that. Uh, okay. Until somebody sent me an image, and I was like, what the hell is going on, you well, know? And whatever they send you that image on? Uh, telegram, actually. Telegram? Okay. Yeah. Well, that truck's coming, just uh, quiet till then. Well, I can tell them to expose you, but I'm not going to do that. I literally just want to talk to you, man. Pick him up right here. Pick him up. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it feels that way these days. Hey, man, it's okay, man. It, it takes a real band to talk about and everything. And look, I, I made sure that, you know, everybody wasn't, well, obviously there's somebody home, but I made sure that people left, you know, because, yeah. look, they don't need to be involved in this, you know yeah. what I mean? So they sent you that image on Telegram two months ago. Yeah, about two months ago, I think. Okay, what was, was that? Around the same time I started talking to Lisa. What, okay, what was that image? Like, how young was it? I, I don't know. There were so many images. Oh, I mean, God. Did yeah, they? Were they're... they, like, prepubescent young? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Were they, like, in... Some were and some weren't. Okay. I mean, it just... It was... I had a whole bunch of it, and I, I just got rid of all of it. I was like, this is scary, and, and I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. And something's wrong, and I probably need some help. So yeah, that's what I, that's what look. That's why I'm here, man. You know, because what, what 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 what's the point? You know, say you get in trouble for it. Okay, what? So you you have a wall put in front of you for five years, and you're back doing this. Come on, man. I think just yeah, addressing yeah, yeah. it now is like better. So okay, so you said you got rid of a lot, all of it. Yeah. I okay. Got rid of everything. How many images do you think you deleted? Oh, I don't know. Uh, a couple hundred. A couple hundred. Okay, this yeah. was like. This was like basically child. If we're gonna use that term, I mean, naked kids is what it is. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. I, I felt bad about it. Okay. But yeah. Okay. So, look, I know the people on Telegram are sick. Okay, and you were definitely going down that path, but I'm glad you stopped it last night. Um, yeah. You know, I know they go as young as sometimes infants. Yeah. Yeah, I saw some things I can never unsee. Thank you very much. Such as. Uh, yeah. And it's it's okay to tell. I don't even want to. I, things I didn't even think were real. I thought it was all, and I'm not so sure anymore. Like, like, like what? It Cause looked it, like some Illuminati. It looked like, you know. Like what? I, I saw a video of uh, a, a naked woman hanging a kid upside down by his ankles, and uh, like burning him with candle wax. And yeah, it was horrible. It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. What's she doing? Sex on him too? Uh, yes, and that's pretty much what what made me stop. Once I saw that, I was like, oh. how, "How young was this kid? You think?" Uh, probably about I don't know six. Oh my god! Okay. Um, oh, it's freezing. <laughs> we have a jacket in the car, dude. If you want. Uh, can I go? Let me go put some shoes on and some pants, maybe. Is that okay? Oh, absolutely. All right, I'll be right back. Sorry. All right, man. Promise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I mean, we're we're here, we're here to help you and address this, man. So. Oh my God, it's a miracle. Look at you all cozy and warm. Not really. 
How did you walk around in shorts? Well, this kind of helps. <laughs> Still. Yeah. So you're all the way from Mississippi? That's where I was born, yeah. What brought you to oh, this? That's where I grew up anyway. What brought you to this freaking cold hell hole? Uh, a woman, it's always a woman, right? Oh yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Okay, so, hey man, like, you know, I forgot to tell you this, but just before anything, dude, like, since you told me at the beginning that you weren't producing any of these images, I have a peace of mind that we can just talk about this, just kind of. Yeah. You know, not willy nilly, but you know, and in, in a way, like, what did you get? What What did they get you into? More than like, what are What are you doing to other people? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, so you saw some Illuminati. I, I saw some that I can never unsee, and I, I, and that was the end of it for me. I was like, I can't do this. This is nuts. Okay. Okay. So, and this was all within two months. Yeah, all within two months. It's just amazing how, how the many people out there are doing this. So. Sure. Sure. Um, so, so basically, so, so, so you, what other, like, quote unquote, Illuminati have you seen on there? Because I'm curious what they're actually doing. Um, that was the worst of it, to be sure. honest with you. I, I mean, other than that, I didn't really see anything, uh, scary or, I, I mean, Gross, yes, but scary, no. Okay. You know what I mean? So how many? How long was that video of that like woman basically oh, I torturing that guy? That boy. About thirty minutes. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched about two seconds of it, and I was like, oh my god. Okay. Or, you know, I kind of skipped through and looked at it. And yeah. I was like, oh my god, what's happening here? Yeah, because two seconds, you can't get that much in two seconds. Yeah, no, I mean, no, no, you were. Yeah, yeah. I skipped through it, and okay. I, and I looked, and and it was like, oh no, I, you know, this is crazy. Okay. Yeah. So, so what about infant stuff? Uh, there was that there. I, I sure. stayed away from it. I didn't, that was horrible. Okay. What, what have you seen with the infants that was so bad? And it's okay to, hey man, I'm not here to judge. I, I'm, I I'm just more concerned about the other. Yeah. I don't even know what to tell you. I mean. Just try your best. Uh, images. Uh, well, I mean, videos of people doing things that were horrible to, to babies. I okay. Mean, I Tor don't know what else you can say. I mean, other than... Tor torturing them, or...? Uh, well, I mean, what isn't torture for... Well, people, sure, you know? sure, I mean, sure. You know, yeah, they were they were not happy. You could tell they weren't happy. They were crying. I mean, mm -hmm. what, so... Yeah, I, I, I didn't like that at all. So. Okay. So what was kind of your preference with those videos God, back when I you were in them? I, I don't know. Um, if you had to give me an age range, I don't know, like the teenagers probably. <laughs> like 13, 14? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to talk about. You know that. Oh, absolutely, man. But, you know, none of us here are judging you. There's a reason it's obviously away from, you know, the door and whatnot. Yeah. But because it is important to talk about, obviously, yeah. because. You know, if I but I, if I didn't think you could turn this around and be part of the solution to this problem, I wouldn't be here talking to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, okay. So with Lisa, you know, just to cut through a lot of the bull. I mean, you, you sent her a few of those videos too. Yes, I did. And okay. And I realized that that was a mistake. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're talking like. Luckily, I didn't get a chance to look at them, but yeah. you know, Lisa did. Um, yeah. So, how young were the videos you sent Lisa? No, I don't remember. I really don't remember. Okay, uh, but th no. these were of kids and sex that yes. you sent her. Okay, so yes. you basically, you know, for lack of a better term, you basically sent her a few videos of child. I, I did. Okay. Okay, so wh what was your thought process when, you know, you sent them to her? Like, what, what was the point of that? I, she acted like she wanted to learn and... She needed a teacher, and okay. so I was kind of teaching her. And then, for sure, you know, at, at one point last night, I kind of snapped and said, "You know, you need to be a kid, and I need to be a responsible adult." So, mm -hmm. you know, sure, got to stop. Absolutely. So, basically, I'm kind of curious. So, so did you think it was you? Basically, so did you end it because you thought you were getting set up, or did you end it because you wanted to be responsible and like say, okay, I can't do this to a kid? 
It was both. Both? It okay. Was both. So obviously when you're kind of slinging around child, there's yeah. no way you think that's a set. You didn't think it was a setup at that point because you would be just setting I, yourself up. I did, but okay. I, I did actually. I, I, I kind of did. I, I Kind of? Or so you're kind of back and forth with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I was back and forth. But, okay. But yeah, I, I pretty much had a feeling it was a setup. But okay. You got kind of carried away though? Yeah, I, I did. Okay. I did. I see. So... I mean, how long ago online did basically younger ladies under 18 just start hitting you up to talk and whatnot? Um, well, other than Lisa, there was only one other mm -hmm. that I spoke with. How old was she? Uh, like 13. Okay. Where was she from? Uh, Florida. Okay. And what was it? Basically same flirty, this, that? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Did she end up sending you anything, like selfies or stuff like that? Uh, no. She didn't send you a no, selfie? No, no, they're, they're no. They're very selfie. camera shy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very camera shy. Most of them don't send anything. No. Okay. Most of them don't send anything? Okay. So how, how many really try to talk to you then? Well, Most of them don't send well, anything. A, a couple have talked to me. Okay. But I, I don't. I, I mean, there's only Lisa and, and the one other that I really talked to. And okay. the rest I just kind of ignored. Okay. Well, how old were the rest, if you remember? Just various ages. I mean, why? Give me an age range. It seemed like young teens. Okay. They were all young teens. Sure, sure. So with, with the with the girl from Florida, was it kind of the same thing? You kind of were teaching her stuff, and oh no 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 <laughs> no no. Uh, she was totally different. Um, she identifies as a uh, teen, and was oh. talking about all the things that she had done, and oh okay, and kind of blowing my mind. I was like, God, I haven't even done that. <laughs> you know? Okay, okay. So she was promiscuous herself. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what pics did you send the Florida girl? Um, I know you. I know a teen. You got very carried away. I mean, I already know a couple that. of myself. Okay, send any pictures to her. Yeah. Of course okay. I did. okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Okay. Did you did you send her any of the videos you sent Lisa? Uh, no. No. I, no. Uh, what apps did you talk to Florida on? It was. Or you can just say Florida girl. Same thing with them. Uh, it was also Telegram. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just, and Robert, I'm just going to touch on this one more time. I mean, again, I'm not here to judge you for anything, but I, I doubt you were on Telegram and didn't send someone named Florida any basically videos of that stuff. What do you mean? Like, I don't think on Telegram you wouldn't send a... I think on, when, if you're on Telegram with somebody, there's no way you, when you're getting carried away, aren't sending those types of videos, like of CP. I was sending videos of myself. Okay, okay, okay. Because I was... She didn't need anything like that. She... Oh. I already knew what she wanted. Okay, so you sent that for to you sent like CP to Lisa for educational reasons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which was stupid. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Hey, about. visual learner. Who knows? Um, okay, so tell me about. I don't use those. I don't know. Okay. Well, I mean, one one of the uh, Instagram messages you linked. I forgot which one it was. I don't have. No. Did you ever get I've rid of? Never used I don't know what that is, actually. Okay, did you ever get rid of those apps? Uh, which which apps? Uh, like, did you have them at one point and then delete I, I them? Had okay, one, okay. But I uh, I haven't used that in a while. Okay. How how long has it been since you? I don't know, a couple of years. Okay. I heard it was worse than Telegram. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I used it for chat purposes, and that was just adult chat. So, okay. Uh, yeah. So you and Lisa started talking on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Okay. She said, I'm Rob, and she says, I'm nine years old, hoping that's not a problem. She said, you live near Detroit. Okay. You seem much older than I'm just saying. I'm glad we were talking. So, you were my son's age. I bet you would get along with him great. He's a good kid. So, why did the conversation continue with Lisa when she said she was nine? Just curious. I mean. At, for, at first, it was totally innocent. I don't sure. know. I mean, you know. And then it just took a weird turn, and, and it seemed like she directed it there. Okay. So, I, I don't know. I, I mean, it was just innocent, and I was just talking to her, and, you know, she was a cute little thing. and mm -hmm. She was a cute girl to you? Yeah, okay. yeah, she was cute. Yeah. I mean, she reminded me of my my son, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, here... And things took a dark turn, and she kind of guided the conversation that way, so... Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. Sure. So, 
Yeah, I mean, at the beginning, you were like, sounds like a lot of fun. Swimming is one of my favorites, too. I used to teach kids how to swim, mm -hmm. and I was a lifeguard. I swim a lot. So my mom's actually a swim coach, too. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, uh, you know, obviously she didn't teach me too much from this fat, but, like, I do know how to swim, kind of. Right. Not fast, but. So you were, used to be a swim coach. Uh, well, I swim was, instructor. Yeah, I was a swim instructor. Yeah. Okay, we're at like the YMCA or something, or it was a neighborhood pool. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I got certified by the Y. Yeah. Oh, awesome, man. Yeah. So you would just give like, basically, like the youth of the. Is this in Vicksburg or in Albuquerque? Wow, you have done your homework, haven't you? Yeah. It was in Vicksburg. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what? Just basically, the youth of Vicksburg would uh, get swimming lessons from you, or? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So. And, no, I wasn't into anything. Like no, that. I know, I know. I'm just curious because you know it's important. You know, swim coaches are important because better than adults giving our kids like candy and video games. And, you know. Yeah. So, uh, how old were you when you were a swim coach? I don't know, probably 16. Okay. Yeah. It was a job when I was in high school. Awesome, man. Yeah. So we also had a great time, sweet dreams, little angel. Yeah, I mean, it's the conversation was very, very innocent at first, but. Here you said that makes no sense. She says why, and you said there's a lot of kids on here, and you said it just seems that they're picking on you. Um, which she said she would be getting banned for her age. So she said Telegram is the wild west. Be careful there, okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as it turned into. Um, okay, so you yeah, mentioned I, there's. I was just learning about Telegram at that point. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned there's a lot of kids on there. I mean, on Instagram. Instagram. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. When did you, how many, how long has it been since you started like following a lot of them? Uh, just lately. Mm -hmm. Just here lately, actually. Okay. So do you think this could be like, this kind of turned into like a, some type of fantasy or fetish for you recently or? Yeah, in the last month or so. Yeah. And I don't know why this is like something new that, that I didn't even know about myself. And okay. Yeah. So how did you get that random image sent to you on Telegram? Uh, what context was this? I, I don't like even know. I don't even know. I don't even remember where it started. Okay. Uh, it was just somebody I was chatting with. Was this in like some group or something? No, this was no. just somebody who just sent me a random image. And okay. I was like, what the hell? How did y'all get in touch on Telegram? Like, was it from Instagram? Because I, I heard like. In Telegram, there's uh, groups, like local groups. Uh huh. And uh, there's people, and it shows you people nearby. Sure. And so, you know, sometimes you just hit those people up. Hey, what you doing? You know, and start talking. Mm -hmm. So this was a local guy here, and it was somebody local, yeah. Okay, and he's in this city here, or or it's I don't know. To be honest with you, it said Sarnia, so okay, it could, be, could be across the. Yeah, place. yeah. Well, pretty, it's pretty much local. Yeah. Okay. So you said you're so sweet. If you were here, I'd give you a big hug and kiss. And she said, oh, I love hugging kisses. And you said me too. And neither of us would be lonely ever again. Yeah, that's kind of where things started taking a turn. Okay. So he said, we can talk anywhere you want. And let's see. He said, big beard, scratchy kisses. You got a sick beard, by the way, when it's grown out. It's a mess. Yeah. Okay. So he said, I love you, baby girl. We haven't done anything wrong, so it's okay. But if we met, that's another story. We'd have to keep it between us. Yes. Okay. So were you starting to, and look, I get it, man. I mean, you know, on the phone with Gary. Yeah. On the phone with Gary. Hey, hey. <laughs> on the phone with Gary. I was like, there's something sketch about this. But yeah. The name sounds familiar. <laughs> I, you know, I just saw Vicksburg. Like, someone named Gary would absolutely be in Vicksburg at right, that time. Right, right, right. But um, on the phone with Gary, you mentioned that you're, it's going pretty bad with your baby mama here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, is do you think that that could be kind of That's what started it? Probably. Yeah. It's, okay. I'm having not such a great life here at home. So, okay. Yeah. Sure. So. What do you think it is about like younger that you know you're lacking here and you go here? Jesus, I don't know. I, I guess it was an innocence thing. You okay, know? It, it would be nice to have somebody innocent in my life for like once. less judgmental too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, you know, I don't know. So did you start to maybe like catch a little catch some feelings for Lisa? I mean, you're mentioning innocence, being less judgmental, all that stuff. Did you start? Did you start to kind of fall a little bit? I'm not saying you were head over heels for the girl, but. Um, I kind of felt more like in a fatherly role. Okay. And I know that sounds weird, but. No, it's okay. Yeah. So like a father, like filling a void for her? Yeah, well, yeah. Or for like yourself that. or both? Or? Yeah, for both probably. Okay. So did, so did you feel like a, a type of 
love to her in any way? Sure, I mean, why not, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's put it this way, when, when I told her, when I ended it last night and I just kind of ghosted her, mm -hmm. uh, I felt horrible, and I felt horrible all night. What did you feel horrible about? About ghosting her. Okay. You know, in case it was real, I felt bad about ghosting her. Okay. So, yeah, I, I guess there were feelings there. Okay. Did you, like, leave the house last night at around midnight? No. No? Okay. No, I stayed home all night. Okay. So, you said where does she live in Michigan? Um, she said Ann Arbor. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. So when Lisa mentioned that uh, she basically has a home in Michigan somewhere, that's when a meeting was kind of talked about a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she mentioned her sister, six years old, and you said, I want to cuddle with you so much. And she says, I want to cuddle with you too. And you said, I'll make that happen, sweetheart. And you said, I'll teach you how to kiss too. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't look like she took it in that direction. It seems like it was kind of a mutual thing. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. You said, I hope, I hope you have sweet dreams tonight. I mean, it was still, I mean, it was sweet. Like, you know, cause there, there is a lot of creepers online and it definitely right. didn't come off as that, you know? Okay. I, it, I know this sounds weird. Mm -hmm. I, I felt like she needed protection from the other dudes out there. Okay. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it, it was a. No, it's okay. No, like, what do you mean? I was in a weird headspace, and I don't know what prompted all this. I really don't. Mm-hmm. Because so. there's other dudes that would kidnap her and her and do all that yeah, nasty. Yeah. Shit. Okay. So what what did you want to do with her? I'm really not sure. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, I'm really not sure. Okay. And, and it, you know, I mean, it kind of scares me a little that I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. and, uh, did you guys talk about sexual stuff together? Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's let's try to cross this off the list. Was any of it going to be forced? No, 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 okay. no, hell no. Okay, so this would have been up to her to do everything? Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I would never force anybody to do okay. anything. Okay, so, so do you think that, you know, cutting through all the BS here, do you think stuff in the chat could have happened only if she's okay with it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. so you would have only done all the stuff in here if she was willing? Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't force anybody to do anything. I don't okay. Never have, never will. So the only possibility, basically, that, you know, you would basically kiss her, touch her, whatever. She touches you, whatever. Would only be if she's okay with it? Yeah. yeah okay. I, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and even that's wrong, and I know that, but... Well, you're still going to do it anyway because you got carried away, I think. Got carried away. Okay. All right. It's like an addiction. It really is. Sure. So you said here, I wish I was your daddy. I'd never let anyone hurt you ever. I'd never hurt you. You're too perfect. Okay. So you I meant that. Kind of. I did. Okay. Oh man, so yeah, I mean, it's a lot of it's about hugs and kisses, but you said when a grown man talks dirty to a young girl, people always want him. There we go. Yeah, that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of, okay. So did you end up asking her to send you any nudes ever? Uh, I did. Okay, what did you ask her to send you? Just a nude, uh, nudes. Okay. And she never would. Sure. And and that was a red flag, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Uh, that was one of the things that made me think this is a setup. Okay. And then when she wouldn't FaceTime last night, that was kind of... Nail in the coffin. The nail in the coffin. Sure. Okay. So, what, what about her not sending a nude made you think it was a setup? Because it seemed like I was the only one doing anything wrong in the chat. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whoever it was obviously didn't want to do anything illegal. Sure. Okay. And, and that's, that's what uh, was on my mind for the last, I don't know, three weeks or so. Okay. So your car didn't get impounded yesterday? Uh, no, not yesterday. <laughs> okay. But it did the other day. <laughs> okay. All right. No, uh, really, some things happened here where I just didn't have access to the car. And, okay. And so I had to tell her something. All right. So would you, would you like to know, baby girl? I'd never show anyone anything you send me. Okay. So you sent her, did you send her, like, basically videos, yes. pictures, the whole... Yes. The whole nine minus six inches and all? Yes. Okay. So, um... So you said here, if a woman sucks on a man, it's very nice. And if a man looks, it feels great if he's good at it. Okay. Do we have to go into that? <laughs> hey, man, I'm skipping a lot of it for you, man, because you've been so honest. That's horrible. <laughs> okay. You said here, so that's the basics. A man gets hard. The girl does things until the is released. If it's in her, 
she can get pregnant unless the man had an operation to prevent it. Okay. He said, we'll teach you the mechanics, but there's no love in Love is key for good. Okay. So skipping, skipping a few, you sent her some child videos. Yes. Okay. So how did you choose those videos to send her out of the hundreds you had? What about those? I don't know. It was something I wanted her to learn at the time, I guess. Okay. And God, this is horrible. It's okay. No, it's, it's like, it's, we're here, man. So you're, you're good. So you wanted her to learn like... Like something that we were talking about. And I, I wanted her to learn what I was, what I was saying, you know, what, trying to teach her, hey, this is what, what I meant. Okay. So basically, did you find videos specific to the chat that was talked about? Yes. Okay. So you look through, so basically, you look through your catalog of child and you're like, this video is going to be good for the conversation? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. So the stuff, you, uh, the stuff that was talked about um, to do in person, um, basically, you mentioned that Lisa and Sophie, six-year-old Sophie, yeah, I could lick each other. Yeah. We're a literally a literal six nine. Yeah. 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 And oh, and you said you wanted to film it. I'm an idiot. Did you say you wanted she to film kinda, it? Yeah, she kind of brought that up. Sure. But you see, but you said you would do it though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I mean, were you planning on doing it if they wanted to? If they wanted to, yeah, probably. Okay. okay. I appreciate your honesty, man. I mean, this is how we get it addressed for sure. Yeah. So, did you guys talk about just having, before I read these whole thing, I mean, we can um, cut through a lot yeah, of it. of course we did. Okay. I mean, was that also the plan to have with them? If, yeah, it kind of was. Yeah, okay. that's kind of what it, the whole chat was about. Okay. So, yeah. So, that's what you wanted to do if they were willing. If they were willing, yeah, at the okay. time I did. Okay. So, even the six-year-old? Like, just well, curious. I, I had my doubts about that and sure. I kept telling her about that yeah, okay that's probably not gonna work okay so obviously Lisa is a little bit more mature than so what, what did you want to do with the six-year-old if you know if she was all willing I, I mean what do you I mean it's I okay really it's a, I, there's okay there's not much you can do with a six-year-old like right that. I mean you know it I, I I don't know to be honest I don't know I I was kind of like wishing she didn't have a sister to be honest with you I uh, got you carried away though it did okay. at points yeah sure so I mean, were you planning on, like, touching the six-year-old? Uh, I, I really didn't want the six-year-old to even be involved okay. in, in any way, to be honest. Okay, so it was just Lisa that I, you wanted. Yeah, I kind of, like, kept skirting around the sister. Sure. No, I can see that. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, I mean, just curious, why did you suggest that, um, that Lisa and Sophia lick each other then? I, I don't know. It was something I had seen in one of the videos. Of, like, that young? She, she was trying... To, oh, yeah. Okay. And she was trying to, uh, like, think... She was trying to get me to say, what do you want Sophie to do? Sure, and sure. I'm like, I, I don't know. Right, right, right. Okay, <laughs> you know? I see that, yeah. And she asked me, like, three or four times, and, and I really didn't have an answer until finally I just made something up here. And <laughs> yeah. You could do this. Right, whatever. right. Okay. So, here in the Instagram chat, you're saying delete Telegram get on signal did i mm -hmm. i don't even remember that she said what is signal and you said you can delete telegram it's another app i think oh i know what happened there uh i looked up uh encrypted chats well you said you had signal a few years ago and, and i did have signal a few years ago and that's why i said signal that's why i suggested signal because i had I already had an account with signal at some point and i figured i could just reestablish that account Okay, but you said one that lets us talk more privately, and you said I want to take it to the next level. Did that mean like sexual? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly what that meant. Yep. Man, look. I mean, you use kind of the account throughout all all your. Yeah. Okay. So we see you have a signal. All right. Yeah. Okay. Look, man. I'm sure signal. I've heard it's worse than Telegram. Mm. Um. You know, I don't doubt you used it a few years ago for innocent, but I mean, yeah. look, hey man, at this point, the air is, the air is all cleared. Like, you know, there's not, there's nothing too far at this point because right. you've already separated yourself from the worst of the worst. Yeah. So let's figure out what, what we need to do about these apps and all of that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. So obviously signal, um, 
Signal, that's something where you shouldn't like disappearing messages, right? Um, I think that's Snapchat. I don't, you know, I don't really know, to be honest with you. The only thing, I, the only reason I suggested Signal mm -hmm. was because I Googled private, uh, most secure apps for private chat. Okay. And that's what came up was Signal first and okay. then Telegram. So I suggested Signal because I knew I had a Signal account from years ago and okay. I figured I could just start that back up real quick. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, you know, obviously at some point, like, she told you, like, you don't have to send any more child stuff like that. Um, how much were you planning on sending her if she didn't tell you to, like, kind of say, like, you don't have to do this, stop? I'm really planning anything. None of it was planned, so. Okay. Do you think you would have sent her more if she didn't kind of say you don't have to send that stuff? Um... Maybe. I, I, okay. I don't know. It just depends on where the conversation was. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So, do you remember how many videos of CP you sent, uh, you sent Lisa? Three or four. Okay. Three or four. Got it. And where did you get those videos from? Uh, Telegram. Okay. Yeah. Was this like a... Was this like an in was this like in a group or from a trader or from it's mostly traders traders okay yeah. so I assume you trade back and forth with them too I, I did yeah okay <laughs> not okay. anymore but yeah yeah, I did. yeah okay yeah I deleted all that I, I still have Instagram but I'm gonna go clean out my contacts today okay big time so who's on your Instagram contacts uh, uh probably too many kids uh, a few too many kids that okay I'll probably get rid of and, okay. Uh, so, how many kids are you really talking to on Instagram? Um, I I really don't talk to a whole lot of kids. Like okay. I said, I talk to her and the, the girl from Florida, and that's mm -hmm. it. Okay. But uh, I mean, I have followers that are that are younger, very underage. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I noticed you follow a few basically like child trading pages on Instagram. Yeah, that's another thing I'm going to clean out of there too. <laughs> okay. Um, that's actually how. I got what I got was through Instagram. Through Instagram. Yeah. Uh, you meet them there, and then you go to Telegram, and then they start trading. Okay. How, so how many how many months ago is that, or years ago? It, whatever. it just started right around Valentine's. Everything started right around Valentine's. So, uh -huh. yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, that quickly I learned how to do this. Mm -hmm. And that's scary. It's just so available. Yeah. So you had a lust for children on the holiday of a baby in a diaper. Do you want to? <laughs> Cupid. Oh, oh, I, <laughs> I didn't even. They made that. you fall in love with little kids. I didn't even think okay. No, I, I don't know what happened. I, it was a weird blip in my life, I guess. Mm hmm. That I'm ready to get over. Sure. So, I mean, here on Telegram, that's where it really got like mm -hmm. really bad. Um, well, really, <laughs> really, like, escalated. Yeah. Said, that makes sense. Let a rest baby girl will play again when that feeling goes away if you'd like. I love it when you for me. I won't get, it won't get sore with my tongue. And you said, I'll make you, then you can uh, climb on top and make me. Uh, what was wrong with me? Okay. Did you guide her on how to touch herself in these messages? I did. Okay. I did. Did, did that, like, kind of turn you on? A little. Okay. I, I felt more like a teacher than anything else, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like sex ed teacher? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Like I was trying to guide her through something new in life. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I felt like. And absolutely. I mean, so I, I, I definitely understand that. So did that whole thing, though, of being a teacher, did that, was that kind of like a fantasy fetish for you? Uh, yeah, kind of. Well, I guess so. I mean, I didn't think about it, but yeah, I guess so. Okay. So you being a teacher yourself would turn you on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So... Um, March 5th at about, uh, midnight, you said, what you doing, sweet girl? And she said, sleeping in you. And you said, LOL, watching little girls. Sorry for the language. I want to show you some things, but later when you are awake. So what were you watching? Because you little, <laughs> teenagers, one thing, little girls ain't teenagers. Um, yeah, yeah, was, what, what are you, what were you watching? If you remember? I don't remember at the time. Okay. God knows. God knows. There were so many. Okay. So was this like an everyday thing for you? It became an everyday thing, yeah. Okay. How many videos of child <laughs> do you think you would watch in a day? I don't know. Probably eight or nine. Okay. Full length? Uh, no, they're mostly just clips. Okay. Mostly just clips. How many times would you do this a day? Uh, a couple. Okay. So what, what would be the youngest uh, that you would do? Like, was it as low as infants or? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. I, I'm, I was into the younger teens, actually. Like, no, I guess that's your preference, but what was the youngest? Too. Like, was it like 
three or four. Young teens. Ta young. Okay. Well, I mean, watching little girls game younger teens. That's well, a, no, but I, I was because you of younger teens more than anything else. Okay. Okay, but I mean, your collection span to toddlers. Yeah, well, yeah. I, your yeah. your collection that you have on your phone that yeah, span to yeah, toddlers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So did you make those videos once no, or twice? No, no, no. That, okay. So I mean, toddler stuff I got rid of really quick. Actually, I I wasn't really into that. So why did you save that in the first place? I, I don't know. It was just you know something to trade. Sure. You know. I okay. Mean, did anybody, did you ever sell any of these? No, 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 no. Okay, no. did you ever buy any of them? No, no, no. Okay. No. I, I, I attempted to and got ripped off, and that was it. You attempted to buy CP and yes. got ripped yes. off? Yes. Oh, my God. What do you do, you know? Who do you go the to? The pizza delivery never came. Yeah, yeah. who do you go to? How, to what? complain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go to the cops and say, try to buy. <laughs> okay. So, how much did you spend trying to buy child? Okay. So if you could get all this for free, why'd you try to buy some? Well, I didn't realize you could get it for free. That was at the beginning. <laughs> okay. So, 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 so you got, you got, you got sent, like, so you, wait, at the beginning. So what do you mean? Like, you got sent the image, but you try to buy some? I'm kind of confused. Yeah, I, I got sent an image, uh -huh. and, and it did something for me, and then I decided to try to buy some, and got ripped off. Yeah. Okay. Where did you even look to go buy that stuff? Uh, on Instagram, there was a... Uh, a guy who said he was selling mega links. Okay. And I didn't even know what that was at the time. I do now. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know what that was at the time. So how did why did you try to buy it if you didn't know what it was? Well, I mean, I knew it was a, a link to a whole bunch of CP. Okay. That's what I knew. Okay. Um, I see. Did you do it over like Cash App or did you do it over it was cash, cash App? app? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what month was this in? It was last month. Last month. Yeah. Okay. So is your cash app like also? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So you attached your name to that? Yeah, I don't oh, know. Right. It's, all <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. Did you? So did you like? Did you put a note to him that says like for the images no, no, or for no, the no, mega link? Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Where was this trader from, if you remember? Uh, I don't know. That I do not know. Okay. Let's see. Nobody tells you where they're from. Sure. <laughs> so you sent in this uh, basically CP video. It's obviously cropped out for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, yeah. You said start with fingers like this. She said okay, and you said she's not bigger than you. She just practiced. Yeah. yeah. And um, okay. So this, so you, so this was you literally finding a video of like, I assume a very young girl, I guess. Yes. yes. And sending it to Lisa yes. for the purpose of teaching her. Yes. Okay. You said, are you okay with sending those? She says, um, you don't have to send them if you don't want to. And you said, that's probably better. There's really nothing more I can teach you unless we are together. You know the basics. Okay. You said, I have so many things to teach you, but we can't teach you anything until we're holding each other. I can send you so many videos that show the motions, but until you've experienced it, nothing will make sense. You have no idea how much I want you. And he said, maybe, would rather do it at your mom's when she's not home, but I can get us a room if that's what you like. And he said, the videos show people my age having people your age. I can show you some if you'd like, but I think you already know how. He said, you asked me once if it's possible for you to take my The answer is yes, and I can show you if you want. And he said, girls smaller than you can take men larger than me. Mm -hmm. And I assume you've watched that on Telegram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so then obviously this is you sending your... Uh, Pictures yes, here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Boy, we have to show those. Uh, well, not to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he even said a full body one. Yeah. All right. Willy Wonka the wanker. Yeah, I guess. All right. Yeah, my Google account got shut down, by the way. Really? Yeah. So, if you took videos of Lisa and Sophie, together with you and them i mean were you probably going to trade those around no 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 what, what are you planning on doing with those videos my personal stash my private collection okay so you would have kept that for yourself yep okay so you're planning on doing it then you were just gonna keep it for yourself yep. okay all right I ain't gonna lie. Yep. appreciate it man so look i mean basically oh, wait is it nine is it nine o'clock yet it's okay we gotta get Indiana. Um, can you go go 
order. Oh, yeah. Let me pick up some food. Yeah, I can just hold that. Just remember the place? Yeah. Just, uh, who has the keys? All right. Yeah, this place in Port, and Port we like to go eat at. Uh, all right. Anyway, so that was going to be for your personal stash? Okay. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, I was protective of her. I, well, I appreciate that. Yeah, nobody least. was going to have anything like that. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> so, look, I mean, I, I totally... I totally think you think it was a set of it after she didn't video call you last night. But if she showed her face on video, you know. I probably would have went. You probably would Okay. Well. Uh, well, I, I mean, probably. I, mean, I, 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 I wanted to. Okay. But, but, you know, I got a family here and they okay. sleep. And okay. Somebody would have woke up and but, said, where's Rob? But, ba know? but basically, if, if you had the chance and you knew she was really would have done it. I probably would have. Probably. Yeah, probably would have. Okay. I mean. I, 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 I don't mean, know. I never got over that hurdle last night. I was trying to decide whether or not I should go. And, and that was after she didn't video call you, though. Yeah. So, I mean, if she did video call you, she, you saw she was real, I think. If she had video call me, I probably would have tried my damnedest to go, yeah. Okay. And to basically have sex with her, take videos of her, all that stuff? Yeah, or go to prison. I knew it was one or the other. I knew it was either a setup and I'm going to prison or... Okay. But you were, were you this, like, basically infatuated that you were going to risk it all? I would have, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm just curious, why are you so honest about this? Because look, this is my first time talking to somebody, and uh, you're just very honest about it and upfront. I appreciate it. I mean, because it was something that I did, and I feel bad about. I okay. Guess, and I kind of like to get it off my chest, and you know. I appreciate that because you know, there are some that are like, "I didn't do anything wrong." Just that they were like sociopaths, no, no, no. man. I knew I, I knew I was doing this wrong and, okay and i told her i was doing wrong and i told her several times this is bad this is illegal like you know and and it's not just illegal it's bad i gotta be a good man and i can't be a good man and yeah i, I was going through an inner struggle as well during all those mm -hmm. so, yeah I, I don't know so basically what, what i'm gonna you know kind of kind of throw out there is mm -hmm. you know <laughs> you're you're a boomer um Generation X. I yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> you're Generation X. You put your name on everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this didn't. This didn't start two months ago. Um, you get you you, you 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 didn't have Telegram for innocent purposes because um, you mentioned. But go ahead. <laughs> look, I mean, you don't go from Instagram. You, you don't just hey, randomly have Telegram. And then, you know, you randomly get sent this. I know the Instagram or Telegram pipeline. I've been around the block with this type of stuff. All right. Well, I will say you are, like, you are literally a better person than literally everybody I've talked to about this type of stuff. And I truly believe that you want help for this. But, you know, and I, I truly believe you do want to get it off your chest. And obviously there's, like you said in the messages, there's people that would look at this that want you dead. Look, do I think that people that kidnap kids should be dead? 100%. If you were to kidnap Lisa, I would tell you to your face. I would probably, you know, but I, I have no doubt in my mind that you weren't going to do that and no. that you were just going to teach her stuff, whatever. It is what it is. But, I mean, you know, you put your name on everything. Yeah. This yeah. didn't start two months ago. This is, I think it's been a whole life thing because remember Gary on the phone, um, you knocked up an 18 year old. Um, you told me that. Well, she was my wife but yeah <laughs> right but you were i'm sorry you were 44 and you knocked up an 18 year old or she was my wife yeah <laughs> yeah yeah we got married <laughs> right no of course but you know when did the uh, feelings I, i've always had a thing for younger women yeah okay I mean, when did that start for because look I, I know i know you didn't just wake up when you were uh 10 years old and be like i just love infants but um no, no, no. it was uh when did it start for you like the younger the younger thing you know that's a good question uh Mid thirties, I guess. Okay. Mid thirties, I started dating younger women. Okay. So was this like not in uh, like after high school that you had these feelings like towards maybe younger teens? No, no. Okay. No. So not this, at all. Okay. So this was in your mid thirties. You started okay, but when did it start to dip into like you know younger women? Sure. Twenty one, eighteen. Yeah. yeah well, there, well, sure. There's a lot of hotties at that age. Right. But. When did it start to dip? When did it start to dip into like, you know, thirteen, fourteen? Right around I, when I started talking to Lisa, like right around then, right around that time, is when that happened. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I, 
that's funny. It, here I am talking to one person and then I get exposed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a good lesson for me. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, look, again, I'm, I'm going to remind you, like, you, you put your name on everything you yeah. do online. Yeah, and yeah. you've had your telegram for yeah, but quite that some time. Yeah, but for that purpose. I promise you that was not for that purpose. I had uh, basically scammers. I've been, like, several women mm -hmm. have tried to scam me online. Or yeah, you say women, but, you know, yeah. they're not women, whatever. <laughs> But several people have tried to scam me online and, and and they tell me to download Telegram so we can talk because they don't want to talk on Instagram because they know they're doing something. In how, how many how many years have you had Telegram? Uh, no more than a year. No more than a year. Okay. I started getting, I started chatting about a year ago total. And okay. Like, I mean, really, it's been about a year since I had it. Yeah, but look, man, I know Signal. Signal's bad. Like, I, I don't know what the hang-up is about, you know, it started two months ago. It doesn't matter if it started your whole life. My, my point is, yeah. like, it doesn't get this graphic in only two months, okay? It, 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 no, but it did. <laughs> no, I, I understand with Lisa, I got graphics since February, but you've had to have seen some real up online. Maybe you didn't get intrigued by it until two months ago, but I think there's been at least a couple of years where people have been sending you these images, even if you didn't want it. That's not true, actually. This all started right around Valentine's. All of it started right around Valentine's. And, I mean, I had Signal before then. Or, not Signal. Yeah, I had Signal years ago. But I had Telegram before then, but that was just for chat purposes. Really. You had Telegram before Signal? No, no, no. Okay. No, no. no. I, I, I meant I had Telegram before Thanksgiving, or for uh, Valentine's. But uh, it wasn't used for that purpose. It, it wasn't. I, I was talking to women and who I thought were women and they turned out to all these scammers. And, right, but like... And in fact, I deleted that app a few times because it was all scammers. You deleted Telegram a few times? Yeah. When did you re-download it? Um, I, down, I don't know. I downloaded it a few times. Okay. In the last year. Okay, so when did you get that image sent to you? It wasn't two months ago. It had to be before that then. No, it was literally two months ago. It was literally right around Valentine's Day when I got that image. Everything started right around Valentine's Day. Okay, so you just basically became a mega child trader all in two months. In two months. Yep. Okay, I mean, that's... I mean, if you insist that happened, there had to be something. Did anything happen to you when you were younger? Uh, well, yeah. Okay, what happened? Um, when I was a kid, uh, I, was, I stayed with my grandparents a lot. Okay. In Idaho. Okay. And uh, the, uh, the teen kid next door couple of times okay and uh back then it wasn't something that and that was talked about sure it was hush hush sure uh so yeah something did happen so you're not a monster you were you were made like this you weren't born like this how old were you when that happened i don't know probably four. Oh man this is come on man this is exactly why this is happening then probably four okay yeah. sorry really sorry that happened I, I didn't let it define me or anything you know you, mm -hmm. you move on from that it, it really I didn't realize until now that it had stayed with me like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, what happened when you were 22 with that, basically someone who was 12? Was that like, I don't know. Cause that you, was just a one-time thing, and it, okay. was, I, it was a party, and I was pretty wasted, actually. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was really odd. It was just a glitch, and it was really weird. So there was a 12-year-old at this party when you were 22? Yep. How did she get in? Uh, it was a kid's party. I, okay. I, I went to a kid's party. Sure. Uh, I didn't realize it was a kid's party until I got there. Somebody said, hey, there's a party going on. And so I went, uh -huh. and there was a bunch of kids there. It was yeah. like 12, 15, all in that age range. So how did you guys have together? Like, what happened? <clears throat> she came on to me. Okay. And uh, told me I looked like Kiefer Sutherland and and thought I was hot, and one thing led to another, and the next thing I know, I'm having a 12-year-old. Okay, how many times did that happen? Uh, just the once. Okay, then you said you also, um, there was a 13-year-old. No, or who, who? 15, I think. 15, okay, and how old were you? Uh, I, I was in my early 20s. Okay, so. what, what, what was the context of that? Uh, girl needed to ride home, and came on to me in the car, and. Okay. So one thing led to another. I mean, it just happened. Mm-hmm. 
but I mean, you got to be very willing because look, okay, there's not a, I can understand like you being your age and seeing 18 year old, right. like I can, I think there's so many hot 18 year olds for sure. Okay. But like a 12 year old, that's like, that has to be, that, that has to be, that has to be because of what happened to you when you were a kid. It has to be. I don't know. Okay. So. I, I really don't know. Look. Uh, I, I, to be honest, I was young and horny. Yeah, it happens. And a little drunk and. Uh-huh. So, so I don't think that, sure, maybe you really got into child the past couple months, but I think these feelings were always there. Because there's. Well, that's possible. And okay. Maybe I just didn't know it. I sure. Know. I mean, how many, how many other, because, you know, I, I get that young girls are very promiscuous, too, and they're very, like, And, and it would forward. actually explain why, why it's been so all-encompassing for me in the past month, because it really has. It, it's been taking up a lot of my time, actually. Okay. Do you think, deep down, like, this is always what you wanted to do? Like, this is what you always wanted to do? I mean, you finally had an outlet to do it with Telegram and all of this stuff? It... It was more of a thrill of a chase thing, really, to okay. be honest with you. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, wow, that's, oh, wow. You know, I mean, something new. Mm -hmm. it, it was just shiny, I guess. Yeah. So are there any other young girls, like maybe you didn't have with, but that like came on to you in your life and you just like got carried away and? No. No, no just the 12 year old and the 15 year old? Yeah, okay. Just two of them. Okay. <clears throat> I see. So, did the 12-year-old ever tell her parents? Um, I don't know what happened to, to her, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I went to try to see her one more time. Yeah. And she basically just kind of blew me off. So. She blew you or she blew you off? No, she blew me off. Okay. She blew me off. So, uh, how did, uh, so what was the other, what was the context of you going to see her again? Um, I don't know. I guess I wanted more, I guess, mm -hmm. you know, and. So I, I, I kind of liked her. She was cute. Okay. Um, were you just trying to come over like after school or something? Like, well, like when were you, when were yeah, you trying to go was, see her? It was like after school. She was hanging out with a friend of hers, and okay. And I went over to see her, and uh, she basically just told me to get lost. Okay. So I did. So, so what were, so what were you doing? Like that? Were you? Did you like have work that day, or were you just bumming, or what was happening with you that day? If you remember. It was so long ago. Um, I was I was with a friend of mine. Not okay. Time, no. Okay. Did y'all drive over there? Yeah. Did you drive? Yep. Okay. So you weren't drunk. No, I wasn't drunk. Okay. So, so in a clear mind, in when you were twenty-two, mind, you I wanted to go your... twelve-year-old. Yes. Okay. So, so this so these feelings didn't start for you two months ago. No, um, no I guess not. Okay. No. All right. I mean. Now that you say that, you're right. That's yeah. Right. I mean, li living that like all mine. Uh, maybe I don't know, yeah. but I mean, would would you consider yourself like a? I, I wouldn't say you're because you know you don't want to hurt anybody or anything like that. But would you consider yourself like, just being honest? It's okay. Like I don't care. But would you consider yourself that? I know it's a harsh term. Uh, uh, if you'd asked me that last month, I would have said no. And this month, I might say yes. Okay. You no, know, because of the last month, the way it's like been so all encompassing for me. Mm -hmm. I would have to say yes at this point, and and I mean I, yeah, I'm gonna go find help. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go get help. Yeah. Okay, is there anything on your phone you should get rid of? Uh, not at the moment. No, no. I I, I mean, there's there's a few things I want to do. I want to clean up my my contacts for sure. Okay, is there anything like sitting on your Telegram chats that you need to get rid of besides Lisa? I mean, you got rid of Lisa, obviously, but do you need to get rid of, like, other Telegram chats, like groups that you're in or anything like that? Uh, there's a couple, yeah. Okay, yeah, where there's CP sitting in the chats or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's another thing I was going to clean out today. Okay. I was going to get rid of all You still that. need to clean out your gallery with that stuff, too? Yeah. Okay, so how many how many images of CP or videos, whatever, how many pieces of it are sitting in your gallery right now, you think, if you had to guess? A few. Uh, like, probably 100. Okay. Yeah, well, one, two, a hundred. Yeah, <laughs> probably a hundred. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so, um, golly, man. I mean, I, I appreciate how forward and honest you've been. I mean, does your so Sherry's your baby mama, right? Yes. Okay. So was that a was that guy at the door your son? Uh, no. Okay. He's a family friend that that stays with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
they kind of took care of him since he was a kid. So. Ah, I see. Yeah. So how'd you meet Sherry? Just curious. Uh, we met when I was in the military. Uh, oh, thanks for your service. Oh, ah, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't go well. <laughs> yeah. I'm not military type, so. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, she, we met, when I was in the military, uh, her dad was a chief warrant officer. Okay. And uh, we worked together, and, and I met her. And, I see, I see. So, yeah, well, she's actually your, pretty much your age. Yeah, she's my age. Okay. How many kids do you all have together? Just one. The, the son? Yeah. So you have a young son, you said? I have a young son. He's 10. How'd you have a kid so late? Uh, had a young wife. Oh, yeah. So the, so your wife would be 28 now? Yeah. Or So where's, that. where's she living? She's in Colorado. Okay. And he does your son live with her? Yes. Okay. Does he ever see you or talk to you? Yeah, we... Uh, I haven't seen him in probably about a year and a half now but yeah you talk to him on the phone at least or uh every once in a while not very often okay he, he's not much of a phone talker so you're not like in, you're not really in the picture with him uh not anymore i was okay not. is she kind of your wife's kind of pushing you out or um no it's just the distance more than anything else okay and uh we've had a few problems here you know i mean we're hell we're not we don't even live here. We were staying with her sister. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, Sherry got evicted from her own trailer that she owned. Right. And, uh, you know, they said they were going to buy it from her, and the check bounced and all kinds of crap. So oh. she got scammed, basically, is what happened. Oh, the number 21? Mm -hmm. Number 21? Yeah, 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 she got scammed. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Golly, yeah, I know. It, it took a lot to find you, man. How it's so can. It's tough, I know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it was. It was very. It was really elaborate that we we had to find you. But actually, I'm very proud of all of us that we. You did good. You did good. Yeah. I'm not easy to find. I know no. That. No. Absolutely not. I've I've always made myself hard to find. We had to go back and listen to the phone call with Gary. Yeah. We had to. You mentioned that the owner was a Marine veteran. We saw all of Sherry's addresses. I assume Sherry was your babe mama. What what ended up doing it was your telegram picture, which we saw was right there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so pretty proud of myself. Good job, good job. Thanks, man. Some, <laughs> some, some good sleuthing. Yeah, yeah, you know. Nice. Yeah, and then we saw like, <coughs> yeah, I'm just just very proud of myself for that. Good job. Thanks, thanks. That is good. Yeah, you know. I'm not, I'm not easy to find. No, no, and I did it, man, with their help. Good job. Everybody, everybody did a great job with it. And uh, Gary, big shout out to him if he's yeah, a good job, Gary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny because I do know a Gary. I realized it later, but he wasn't from Vicksburg. He was from Albuquerque. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just did my thing, man. Well, um, okay. So, what, what what are all the stuff that you got rid of last night? Uh, I got rid of a lot of things last night. Like? Uh, all the CP is gone. Well, you said there's some on your phone still. There's, there's, there's a few left that I uh, need to get rid of. Okay, and that's on Telegram in your gallery? What, yeah, anywhere yeah, else? it definitely needs to go. Okay. Um, no. Um, okay. I, I, like I said, I got to clean those contacts out. I got to clean out the, all the child. Okay. But other than that. What about, uh, you, so you said you use Instagram on your computer. Don't use computers much for any of this, to be honest. Okay. Is there anything on your computer at all? No. So it's all on your phone? Yeah. Okay. Is there any, like... The computer is kind of like a shared computer, so... Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so does anybody else know about this, or...? No. Okay. No, hell no. Okay. W what about uh, any hard drives in your... No. Nothing like that, no. Okay. Well, it is cool. Do you, do you mind if we, like, just sit in the car with the heat on and... Uh, I kind of want to ask about like your upbringing stuff like that, so we can figure out the best way to get you some help for this stuff. Sure. Okay. I'm down for some heat. Me too. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't do Michigan well. No, man. Me either. Oh, I need to 
decide you're gonna do a documentary on this or? I don't know. All right, we got him. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, anything to get away from Sherry, right? Yeah, well, sometimes it feels that way. <laughs> so. I'm kind of curious what what are the problems that are going on with her and don't, don't worry about this This is not a police badge. This is just a she's a fake badge. This is a crime if prevention you officer you arrest me, you would have already done that, so. Okay, well, and I can't arrest you. I don't have the power to do that and obviously, you're, you know, you're free to go at any time But like okay, so um Yeah, so what's kind of going on with Sherry? Uh, she doesn't Turn me on I guess she's not my type She chubby uh, yeah, she's kind of on the larger side, yeah. Okay. I see. So so you think the problems are all sexual, or are they all just other two? Sexual or? is a big part of it. For okay. Sure. Um, there are other things, too. She's loud, obnoxious. Uh, <laughs> I, I love her. I do. But she's loud and obnoxious. Wait, is Sherry... No. Oh. No. Oh, I thought that's just weird. Are you, like, uh, polyamorous at all? Because uh, her name's, like, literally Cher, so I don't know. You know, I, I haven't been in the past, I've been, but I wouldn't, I, I mean, I don't know. Okay. No, I'd have to say no. <laughs> okay. <I'm too> selfish. <laughs> okay. So, you know, I'm just kind of curious, like you mentioned to Gary on the phone um, that you swing both ways. Um, so did, was some of the child that you consumed like you mentioned of a little boy um i've seen it yeah I've okay seen. did you ever uh or I should ask, how many times have you have you like seeked it out of like boy little boys uh no 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 i don't seek that out okay so just just thing. just little girls yeah probably. okay so how did you see the uh so the, all the illuminati that you've seen like besides the candle whatever that, that was the worst and that was the only thing that i would really consider like Illuminati, to be honest with uh -huh. you. Okay. But yeah, that was weird. Okay. So. I, I wish I could unsee that. Got it. So, so how many how many groups do you think that uh, you've been in on Telegram? Um. Well, it, the groups that I've been in on Telegram are are not for that. They were just like chat groups. Sure. Uh, it was <laughs> traders. It was all. One on one private traders. Okay, but you mentioned there's some CP sitting in groups on Telegram you're in right now. Uh, no, just chats. That just chats. Okay. Yeah, they're just chats. Okay. Uh, how many? So how many traders do you think you've came across these past couple months? Probably about a dozen. Dozen. Okay. Um, is there anyone specifically that you go to more than the others? That no. okay. No. Okay. Have people come to you as a knowing that you're a trader? Um. No, but I'm getting friend requests from people on Instagram that I would normally not approve. It basically, like people that seek out like yes. CP and stuff. Yes. And, okay. And now that I know, you know what's what's up, I'm gonna start going through that list. Okay. Okay. So, um, has anybody ever offered? you to buy any like or like not i i know i know you tried to buy some but has, any, has anybody like said hey i'm looking to buy can you sell me some no, no? no. okay no. so how, how many times do you think you've tried to buy some besides that one time uh it was twice total and i well let me think yeah it was twice total and i got ripped off both times okay how much did you spend on the other time uh it was 25 a shot okay was it the same guy no Okay. What, what did you try to buy the second time? Uh, I don't know. The same thing, just a, a link. Okay. All right. So, I mean, the people that you've come across, I mean, how sick are they? Like, just the people that are sending this crap around? You know... We don't talk much. There's not a lot of talk between these people. They don't. They don't really talk. They don't try to get to know you. They don't. They don't really care. Okay. It's all about trading, and so yeah, I don't know. Mm hmm. Um, how long have you been watching for? Yeah. Just... Since I was probably eight. <laughs> how do you watch? Is it in like eight, like seventies? Uh, yeah. 
VHS, man. VHS. You had, so you had VHS when you were eight years old? <laughs> probably not. It was probably later than that. It, it was probably about 12 or 13. Okay. Or okay. So, um, so, so, I mean, you've been on the internet for very since long. Since it was the internet. Since it was the internet. Yeah. Um, is, did, did you walk on the internet back in the early days, too? Of course I did. Okay. When it was bulletin boards, I walked Okay. So, w when did that, like, yeah, trading on Telegram, you know, I can see, I can see someone in Generation X just barely getting on that, but, um, did, did this ever, on the internet, ever kind of, uh, you know, if your preference has always been younger, did it ever kind of just dip into younger teens? Like, I mean, not like children, children, but like younger teens, like in the internet's early days? Uh, not really, no. No. No, so there's... It was all just normal. Okay. So there, so there was no like. I mean, did you look up like younger at all? No. No. <clears throat> so you really are gonna stick with like basically just two months ago that you were. That's when you were seeking out the young stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. I, I don't know what happened. I mean, it was just all so fast, and I don't know. I, I I'm learning a lot about myself this month. I guess. Okay, so you basically had with this 12 year old, wanted to do it again with a 12 year old, and then there's a 30 year gap of you not being into, not watching, well, what, how old were you with, the, was it a 15 year old after or before the 12 year old? Uh, I, you know, I don't know, it was right around the same time. Actually. Okay. It was pretty close in, in time. Okay, I see. Well, did any other young girls, like, in your neighborhood or around you, did they ever try to come on to you no not really no okay those were the only two <clears throat> so who invited you to that party uh with a 12 year old oh god i don't remember it was so long ago you just knew there was a party going on yeah somebody invited me uh, i don't remember who okay uh, i knew a lot of people back then so it could have been anybody was this when you were still was this still in vicksburg or was it in albuquerque uh, no, it was in jackson mississippi actually okay So, I mean, dude, I, I just, there, there has to be something. I mean, even if you've usually watched adult on the internet's early days, there has to be something that made you know that there's just child line. I mean. Well, yeah, I've known for years there was child. Okay. So, I mean, if they're, if they're being, I just don't think you didn't come across it in the early days. You had to have been up somehow, man. Hell yeah! How's it going, sir? Good, how are you doing? Hi. Um, there's an individual uh, in the car with us. He voluntarily got in because it was just cold outside. But his name's Robert, and he's just, to put it very bluntly, he's just very into child. Um, okay. We have a group that catches online across the country and he was talking to who he believed to be a nine-year-old that somebody in my group was posing as and he he admitted that he wanted to basically film our nine and six-year-old sister have um, he wanted to keep that child he was going to film he sent pictures to us he even we didn't ask for it of course but he transmitted cp to the decoy that's why of course we're turning it into you guys um, we don't have it printed out here of course but like he transmitted it um he admitted to us on camera voluntarily that he has hundreds of images on his phone of that type of stuff um he's sitting here in the car right now yeah he's in the yeah he's right there next to and uh he's also had with a real life 12 year old he said and a 15 year old and we have it all on film and this guy's a monster okay. well, let's start off with this well, you guys get your yeah, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> guys, you're trying to shut up, guys. Yeah. Yeah. You got your ID for her? Oh, here, let me uh, undo the mic. For I'm undoing it. Hey, you see that? That's our first international arrest in Canada. Oh, you see that? 
That's our arrest in our 42nd state in Delaware. YouTube censoring channels like this left and right. If you want to keep this movement alive, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. You can see all of these uncensored, no filter, for only $7 a month. And you can keep this movement alive in spite big tech. The choice is yours. You can support the group that has an arrest in 42 different states and two countries. You can see catches like the fire lieutenant, which I can't post publicly until after his trial. You can see all of Stinghouse content that I think is too spicy for here, plus much, much more. Contribute directly to getting these people off the streets. Keep yourself entertained. Keep us going. Join locals. Pin comment.